we're making a run. I don't know if you remember his green charger, that Intrepid. The Intrepid, yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, the four-door okay. Intrepid. Yeah, before sure. we even sell one album, I bought him a car before that, and it exploded. And then, and then I was like, fuck it, I need to get him a reliable car. We ain't sold an album yet. Went down to the Dodge dealership, and... You, wait, 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 you bought the green Intrepid? Like 14000 13000 yeah, I used to see Zero in that Intrepid before the before he had the Bentley and all, I mean uh, the, the the Chrysler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Way before, before the Chrysler that. and all that, the Intrepid this was, like was a, notorious. This is like two thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was two thousand. Yeah, it was tinted out. I remember yeah, seeing Zero all the time. Went, went down to the dealership. I was like that one. He was like, yeah, it's okay. Called a dude over. I said, okay, well we're gonna take that one. I said, I'm gonna write a check for it. I said, um, he said, what's the name? I said, you put it in his name. Hmm. Don't put it in my hand. I don't hold niggas' dicks. That young shit. That's your shit. Yeah. I'm not gonna. What am I gonna do? Put it in my name and hold it over you, just in case something happened that I want my car back, nigga. That wasn't my game. I'm gonna let you. I believe in you, son. I believe in you, and I believe that that what was going on then was was supposed to happen. I didn't. I didn't believe like holding some shit over here like a carrot and stick this. Like you ain't no motherfucking animal. You a human being. You a man, and I'm gonna treat you like a man. Yeah. Do you tell me this though? But are you having any type of experience before you start this label to get your like you said like Mike Moe went and worked at the restaurants to learn the game? How do you learn the music game? Oh God, a lot of it by trial and error. Um, there was also there was a gentleman there, uh, Jordan Williams. Um, and he taught me a lot of it, but for the most part, um, you just, you listen to it. I mean, I knew the basic structure. I mean, I knew business, I knew how to set up a label, knew how to do the business side. Um, and I just needed to get introduced to the right people. And I created a, uh, um, I built a studio out of Rosenberg. Hmm. You'd have loved this motherfucker. It was an old movie theater. What? Upstairs, downstairs, in the back, they had like these these uh, uh, rollers they used to pull up. Everybody used to pull their cars in the back. So the studio was downstairs. We had three bedrooms upstairs, pool table, weights. You had the real deal. And Zero's your only artist at this time. Or Zero, is Zero your only artist? Yeah, Z yeah Zero. And still, and right around that same time, then here came, then here come, like shortly thereafter, then, you know, doing the Gorilla Mob album, uh, Big Mellow, um, you know, Cliche, um, all of it happened, like, kind of, you know, in that same area. I don't know exactly the timing of it all, but. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston. Donnie Houston.